Welcome everybody. Yokoso. No wait, that's a Japanese stream thing. This is a Japanese game, but not a Japanese stream. We are playing Sword Art Online, Rehollow Fragment. And before we start the proceedings here, can we send some hype for Gaming Hour who sent over this copy of the game to be played on stream? Thank you to Gaming Hour for sending this over. It's been a heck of a lot of fun so far, and there is plenty more to go, ladies and gents. Now, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest uh, what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. Now, if you want to see more of what happens on the channel, type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going now, including Sword Art Online. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of seven. We're currently at five right now. So we are close to that goal, guys. We're going to be doing a Voice of Nick voice live on stream to celebrate once we hit that. The 26th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. It's called Setting Limits for Your Streams. And that one is going to help you to establish what you are and are not comfortable talking about on your channel. Really important stuff, guys. Um, if you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for 26 weeks in a row, the whole, this entire year so far, a whole half year, so there's plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch playbook, or you can just type exclamation mark playbook into the chat right here. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, uh, let's jump into the show, ladies and gents. Let's open up uh, Sword Art and get this baby going. Go. Welcome Decap into the stream and getting that hype. Thank you Decap for the hype and welcome into the show. How are you doing tonight? It is a late one. A late one for Decap. The Brick Street Boys exist. Nice. Did you post a picture of it on the Discord? I'm going to have to check that out. Do they have little tiny... I don't know if it's possible to make a little tiny headset or just like draw a picture of a headset on their face or something. That's what I always think of when I think of like a boy band uh, guy. Is that, that headset that they use. Now, we jump in. Oh, right. We're approaching the boss area. And we got Shino into level 80. What are you doing, Shino? Okay, here we go. Right in it, guys. Right into the action. Into the fray. Here we go. Oh, I forgot about these crab guys. Do you guys think what channel? Oh, I'm not sure. Share your work. Either share your work or uh, art channel. Really whichever you feel, uh, you know, suits it best, I guess. Yeah, there's not like specific, it's not like you would get, you know, banned for posting in, uh, in the wrong channel if, they, if it applies to multiple ones. Uh, it's just really whichever one you you think uh, fits the content best, personally. Grand health potion. So we have so many of these that it's actually sending them to our inventory, which means that we should really use them more often. I don't think I've been using any. There it is. And you know what? One of the things I love about this game is that you can pour your coffee while you fight. Because you uh, will auto attack in the meantime. DGAF gonna put it in share your work. Nice. Oh! Shinon leveling up again. Shinon is a beast, ladies and gents. Can we get some hype for Shinon? She started out as the weakest character in the whole bunch, and now she is up to snuff. She is going to be a part of the boss battle uh, raid. Good stuff. So we want to go this way first. Do you guys get that Shino on hype? Good stuff. Man, what a uh, underdog story, you know? Really inspiring. Very, very inspiring stuff.
Okay, here we go. Bedrock ore, nice. Run, 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 run. Anybody in here? There's two monsters, but we might be really stealthy and get past them. Very quietly. Ha! They didn't see me. Uh-oh. This guy is probably the legendary guy. What's his level? 94? I think we could take him. I'm level 106. There it is. Oh, we got this guy. Gino's real leveled up now. Got him. Good stuff. Oh man. <laughs> Do you guys think anyone in here? Nobody but us monsters. That would be a heck of a response to hear. Damn, wrist break. I like the battle music in this game. What kind of sword does Shinon use? Oh, I don't think we can give her swords, actually. Okay, this might be the boss area now. Let's check it out. I think this was the third floor, so that means boss would be above. Yep. This floor feels different from the others. It could be that the boss's room is close. Yeah, I guess we just have to press on and find out. Looks like this is the boss room for this floor. This is it, Kirito. Yeah, just gotta head back to Ark Sophia and contact the assault team. There you go. Do you guys think I keep forgetting this is a game within a game? Yeah, I like all their references to the fact that it is a game. Ah, looks like we made it back in one piece. We did indeed. Good job today. Thanks, but I'm beat. Was covering for a beginner like me while fighting in the vanguard that exhausting? Huh, you hold nothing back, do you? Although that might have been a part of it. I think it's just that I'm not strong enough yet myself. I see. Well, whatever the case, just make sure you rest when you need to. Thanks, you know. All right, let's head back to the inn and get some shut eye. Let's. We're going for a different voice with Shino. <laughs> Changing it up. Hmm? Still the middle of the night. What a strange time to wake up. I feel wide awake though. Maybe I should go out and do some sword training. Hmm, is that Shinon over there? It's getting some air. What about you, Shinon? Can't you sleep? A long time ago, huh? So. Bad memory? え、聞いても驚かないでね。私も戻ってるんだから。私がSAOソードアートオンラインのことを聞いたのはテレビのニュースでよ。たくさん死人が出ている。最悪のデスゲームだって。ニュースリポート。You mean? Report. You mean... I thought as much. But what about your hardware? You can't dive into SAO unless you got hardware that can access all five senses. Did you manage to get a hold of some nerve gear somewhere? There's full dive technology for medical purposes? 
かなり昔から言われてたことでしょうあと感覚の遮断も麻酔の代わりに使えるかもしれないとかまあいろいろ医者が説明してたわ私はそのどっちでもなくてカウンセリング系のテストだったんだけど VRMMO はなんとか療法にいい効果が期待できそうだとかもちろん SAO じゃないもっと無難な VRMMO でねそれでアバター作成してカウンセラーを待ってたら急に足元が揺れてそこからはもう訳が分からなかった落ちてるのか吸い込まれてるのか頭もクラクラしてたし The errors that occurred when we cleared the 75th floor have got to have something to do with this. But now your memory is about what happened in return? That's good, right? So, I don't know. 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 まだ実感はないんだけどこの世界で敵に倒されるとプレイヤーは本当に Don't worry I promise that won't happen to you I'll protect you あ,あんたそれ本気で言ってるの、y、Yeah どうしてよ雪きずりの私なんかに Well Can't bear to lose anyone else. Oh, come on. What does Koso Manai Han that done? What does she know? Ima Made Anta no Koto. Shitrena, Henna Yatsu, Kurai Nishko, Mutte Nakatakedo. It's not very nice. Demo Mushka Stara. What does that she got to Nita Monado Shina no Kamone? 今、なんだかそんな気がした。Really? Make she known. She's asleep, leaning against me again. But she's not saying anything this time. She looks really peaceful. I don't know why she don't think we're alike. But maybe that's why she's able to sleep right next to me like this. I should probably do a different voice for inner monologues, like, Oh, I don't know why she don't think we're so alike. Something like that. Oh, I like how his hair will bob. Look at that. His hair is like the little curly Q will. See that? Yoink, yoink. That's a good effect. Gotta have the anime hair on point. Good stuff. I think that means that we've leveled up our affinity with Shinon then, because it seems like we're getting cutscenes based on either who we clear the floors with or if we level them up. Let's see what Shinon's level is. Uh, how do we look at that? I probably have to go to. Oh, maybe I can't. Hold on. Shinon, messages, cancel, track, sort. Oh, it says friendly rank 2, so we didn't actually level her up. Oh, look, we have the same outfit. Us and this girl. Cool. Okay, clearing strategy. We have the location of the boss room on the 79th floor. Get your gear in order, and when you're ready, head to the assembly point in front of the teleport gate on the 76th floor. Boss, the Astral Quake Treant. Giant attacks break down defenses. Spawns children from left hand. Oh, we have to complete another mission. All of its attacks can be dodged with quick steps. Destroy its left hand to stop it from spawning children. That seems pretty. Pretty, uh, good. Quest wise, Unforgivable Melody. We have to kill more sirens, okay. So let's go do that. Let's go find Shinon if we can. Keep bringing her, leveling her up. I wanna see what happens if we get somebody to level three, um, you know, affinity. Stop saying, ah, they're all saying the same thing. Chotoi kana, I think, or kara. Chotoi is like, it's a little bit good. Chotoi. Unless they're saying chodoi, which would mean like good timing. Mm. 
I don't know what they would mean. Yo. Can I turn anything in? Yes! Okay, we got this one. Alright. Good. We got a strength potion. And 13 something. Can we get any more quests? Immeasurable entrails. This is on the 79th floor. Crab entrails. Oh. Oh, it's from the cook again. The last ingredient I need is the entrails of a crab, but I'm all out. Find me some, would you? Okay. We'll be there anyway, I guess. We certainly know where to find crabs. Oh, there we go. We got them already. We already had the entrails. Cool. That's good. I like that they do that, where you already have the items. In Borderlands, they would have made us get the items again. Alright, send some hype for the quest that we had already finished before we started. We have any more missions here? Okay, there's nothing else. So we want to go, number one, find Shinon. I almost forgot to do that. Oh, we could bring Leafa, I guess. If we can't find Shinon, then we'll do it. bring Leafa, I guess. There's Shinon. Screw Leafa! We're bringing Shinon. There we go. Deacock, get that hype! That's the equivalent of the zombie island uh, brains that we got. Oh, let's see if we can talk to her. Can we talk to her? Oh! We can finally give her stuff! So I guess we had to level her up higher in order to do it. Okay, now we can give her a weapon. We can chat. This is good. I thought we weren't going to get to do any of this stuff. Okay, let's chat. I love how it goes in a little, like, letterbox thing. So does her time to chat go down? Ah! Well, there it goes. But I became more friendly with Shinon. Now what's our, our level here? Or her mood is normal. Oh, wait a sec. Character info. Rank 2. Can we chat again? We can just chat again. Just the man I wanted to see. What if I said this? Impressive. So am I choosing like a better or worse answer? I think that they only ever say three things. Can I just keep chatting though? It definitely seems like the best way to actually build up the happiness meter. I just don't know how to build it up faster. I have no idea how this gameplay system works. But I can just keep doing this. What if I just waited? Whoa. And now she's like angry at us or something. Because she just like gave up. And now if I look at the character info, did it go up? A little bit. Not that much though. Can I give her a weapon? The Ebon Dagger. What? How do I see the Ebon Dagger's stats though? Hold on. No, ah. Uh. Okay, Dex 20, Eva 10, DPS 210, damage 175. Alright. Where are all the daggers? I know I picked up one in that previous... Oh, here we go. Oh, these are pretty good. 
The Sky Seeker, I think, is the best one. Dex plus 40. Acceleration 20. Let's give her this one. Arigato. Yay! Alright. Let's see if we can talk to her again now. Who's that lady? We've never seen that outfit before. Alright. Damn! Alright, we only ever get two conversation options now. I still really don't know how this works. If we do character info... Yeah, we're not gonna upgrade that. Floor 79. So the labyrinth, if we go right outside the labyrinth, I believe that's where the uh, harpies were. I think. Do you guys think Aaron Carter of NSYNC and Nick Carter of Backstreet Boys are brothers? Oh yeah, yeah, I knew that. I didn't know Aaron Carter was in NSYNC though. Um, but yeah, I, I knew that Aaron Carter was Nick, Nick Carter's little brother. Um, how do we get out of here? Is this the exit? What is up with that guy? Why does he have smoke all over him? That's Zane Lizard Man again. The private eye. Stun him! Here we go! Oh wait, no I don't... Oh, I think I just did the wrong attack. Whoops! You guys saying I've had the identities of the Backstreet Boys except Nick Carter completely confused? I was gonna say, I thought there were other... I, I didn't recognize a lot of those names. Maybe those are like the current Backstreet Boys, but the ones at the time when they were in their prime were different. Because like if you look up the members of like The Who, you know, on Wikipedia, it might not say Pete Townsend, you know, Roger Daltrey, Stu, Sut Stu Sutcliffe. Oh, do you guys think I didn't know which was which? Oh. Stu Sutcliffe of The Who. Let's see, uh, can we go... How do we get through here? Where is this? I think this might be what we're looking for. Subjugated Sunset Point. Yeah, this is where we're trying to... No, not you, Shinon. Okay, so we need two more of these items. Where's the other one? Oh, I think these other people killed it. Dang it. Now what? I think we have to wait for the thing. Do you guys think they took a hiatus, but apparently they're still together releasing new music? But that's what I mean, is like, uh, but just because the band is together doesn't mean it has the same members in it. So I was thinking that maybe you saw a list of the current members of the Backstreet Boys, which might not be the same as the ones who were members in like, you know, 1999.
Get him. Oh, nice. According to Wikipedia, it's the same members. Nice. Good stuff. I honestly wouldn't know, but I didn't recognize any of the names. Then again, I don't think I ever knew their names. There's a harpy. Get over here. That's it. Okay, now we can go back to the guy. Hey, Xenon leveled up again! Wow. We're really killing it with this. Alright, now we want to go back to floor 76. Give this guy the mission. Yo! guilds weak to slash attacks all right I'm not even sure which ones are slash attacks decaf knew their names because you watched the Arthur special a million times I never really watched Arthur um, I've seen a couple of episodes but I don't think it was on a channel that I really uh, that I really watched isn't there a way to, to buy items using the teleport gate in? No. Castle of Transgression, Oblivion's Gatekeeper. Hmm. Maybe one of these things is one of the areas we're supposed to find that Selvendus Forest. What is the Castle of Transgression? I've never clicked on these two buttons. This is probably gonna get us killed. Have we been here? It looks like all the areas are discovered, but we have not. Okay, here we go. Three paths. One's beginning leads to another's ending. Oh. I feel like I've been here. But it's on floor 76, so it must not be that hard. This guy's level 110. Holy crap. Maybe it is hard. What about the other guys? Oh, now I'm stuck in here? Wait a second. Uh-oh. Whoa, we better run. I just did stun the enemy. Alright, there we go. We're getting him now. That's it. Alright, so we got the first guy. Now we just gotta take him out. There it is. Oh, it's doing a bunch of damage. All right, so I think we can take these guys out with great uh, effort. We gotta watch our health bar. We gotta treat it like a boss fight because all these guys are gonna be potentially killing us. But this will probably really level up Shino for one thing. All right, so let's drink some coffee. It looks like we stepped into a like labyrinth type area where they're blocking our exit. And now we have to figure out the correct way to get through the labyrinth. Decap had a DVD and watched it over and over. Nice. Okay, are these guys the same level? Yeah, wow.
Do you guys say Jules Verne was writing about stuff that wasn't invented yet? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess technically any inventor or any science fiction writer is writing about things that aren't invented. Um, and the best ones usually end up writing about things that eventually do get invented, which is pretty crazy, right? Yeah, like the idea that that they would be so able to do that. But a lot of them would be like on the cutting edge of like science news and everything, so they would kind of have the ability to to see, you know, like, oh, like, this seems like a trend, like, maybe this is gonna happen, or maybe this is, like, conceivable based on, based on what, where science is going. Like, flying cars or, or hovercrafts or whatever seem like a, more of, like, a joke now, but if they ever do get invented, then it would be the same kind of thing, where it's like, oh, the Jetsons thought of this, like, you know, before they even got invented. But like right now, it seems like, oh, they just came up with a ridiculous idea that nobody ever uses in real life. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite things about um, sci-fi writing, though. And just the sci-fi genre in general. Because saying if you went back in time, you should go to a science fiction writer. Yeah, that's probably a good uh, a good point. Or Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Do you know about the 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 time travelers party that he held? It's a really great idea. Got him! There we go. Got him with that counter move. Good stuff. Okay, so it's still causing us to continue going forward into the cave. Like, we can't go back that way and get the treasure chest that we missed. It might be that each possible direction will lead us down a different path and only one of them can get to the exit. But we'll see. Shinon's doing really well. She leveled up twice just within this dungeon. Pretty insane. An all healing crystal? Wow. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Decaf BRB, seeing a little bit decaf. Oh wait, so this is the exit. Now what happens if we go backwards? We can't, okay. So we have to go to the exit. Here we go. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's his level? What's his level? I do not even know. The Fatal Reaper. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Uh, items, items, usable, health potion on. Shinon, get her! No! Oh, Shinon died. Oh, no. Damn, it brought us back here. Okay, well we clearly weren't supposed to be there. What about this other area? Oblivion's gatekeeper? What is this one? Oh. Big boy. <laughs> Why is it making us fight so many of these guys? I guess I don't have to do this, but... Alright, well let's go for the weapon, I guess. This guy is considered to be the ultimate ruler. He can make really, really straight lines. That's his thing. Oh my god, he took us out with like one hit. 
All right, well, obviously we're not supposed to fight him, but why did they not tell us what that even was? <laughs> all right, well, that didn't work at all. Let's go uh, buy some items. Welcome to Scary TV to the stream. We are playing Sword Art Online, Rehollow Fragment. Oh, I finally found the right part of the city for once. Oh wait, no I didn't. I found the wrong part of the city. As usual. Oh no, no, I found the right part of the city. As not usual. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Oats Curry TV? Join in the show. Hey, welcome back Decap into the stream as well. Let's see, do I have any? I have that. Cures Paralysis. I have four of those, four of these. I have max of those. All right, we're in a good spot. Oh look, there's Asuna. For Kirito's sake. All right, who do we want to bring in the battle with us? I guess we could bring Shinon now that she's so leveled up. I was curious, do you mind if I talk about Dark Souls 2? Uh, yeah, we did that one on stream. Uh, yeah. We already played Dark Souls 2 on stream. Um, are you enjoying it? What are you thinking of the game? Nanda. Okay, so now we're taking on the boss. Astral Quake Treant. Giant attacks break down defenses. Spawns children from left hand. So we clearly don't wanna, uh, we clearly don't wanna let him spawn anything. Weak to slash attacks. All of its attacks can be dodged with quick steps. That's good to know. Destroy its left hand to stop it from spawning. The recommended strength is 800. Our strength is 899. So that's pretty crazy. Oh, it's crazy saying you want to avoid... Uh, well, I guess, which uh, boss are you fighting? Or which... Uh, oh, a DLC boss? Yeah. I mean, it, we already did it on stream, so it's pretty fair game, I guess. As long as you don't say anything that'll, like... Uh, you know... Just, yeah, whatever you're thinking about saying, it's probably fine. Yes. First, I'd like to thank you all for joining today. We've located the boss room during our recon of this floor's labyrinth. Now the next step is to beat it, and that's where all of you come in. I want you to form parties amongst yourselves. Our tactics for taking on the boss involve conducting raids using multiple parties. Okay, so my thing was let's use Shinon and try to get her to whatever. Here we go. どうかな? Shino, would you do the honor of teaming up with me for this boss battle? Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? If you're happy with me. Well, if I wasn't happy about it, I wouldn't have asked. Let's do this. Okay, let's do it. Let's be sure we know how we're going to divide things up and what tactics we're going to use. You guys think I found some part? <laughs> Good stuff. Alright, here we go. Boss time, boss time, boss time. I'm not going to read that one out every time because she says the same thing at every boss uh, door. Here we go guys, send some hearts. Oh my god. Look at that afro though. The Astral Quake Treant. Oh, it's great. Decap getting those hearts. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. Left arm. That's what we want to get. Focus fire, ladies and gents. Uh-oh. He stunned me. He killed us! Holy crap. Well, that didn't work out. Oh, my God. Wow. They do not hold back in this game. All right, let's go to uh, the town. We want to try this again. I'm, I'm curious if it was something we could have done. 
or it might have just been uh, that yeah. Shinon was not leveled up yeah. enough, but I don't want to think that because we already got her to the point yeah. where she should be able no, no. to fight. Wow. <laughs> Do you guys think it's a demon tree beard? Basically, yeah. He's like a, a souped up version of the guys in Dark Souls 2, the tree, tree men from Dark Souls 2. Oh, Oskari just fought the Fume Knight. Just beat the Fume Knight. How on earth do you have no idea? Yeah, that was a heck of a fight for us. That was like a four hour episode of just uh, just fighting the Fume Knight. The heck of a fight. But yeah, that's an instance where it's more of like a puzzle boss, other than the fact that it's really hard to beat him nor like just in general. There's like a puzzle aspect to him as well. Shinon, okay, so now we're gonna go with Shinon again. Let's give it our best shot, ladies and gents. Gamarimas. I was crazy saying, what? F! This game is harder than Dark Souls. I was crazy saying, is Fume Knight the hardest boss in the game? Well, I will keep that for you to find out, I suppose. He's definitely harder than any boss that I think we fought before we fought him. I suppose that's what I'll say. Yeah, he's he's one of the toughest guys that I've fought. Gaming hour, welcome to the street. Welcome to the street. Welcome to the stream. Let's get a uh, exclamation mark hype for gaming hour and some hype. We're playing Sword Art. This boss just one shot at us. Have I fought Dark Lurker? Probably. Um, I don't remember the names of the bosses. What what was his like thing that he does? And and his environment and whatever you could tell me about him. We probably did though, because I'm very. I search a lot in those games. In all games, I guess. Alright, let's try and take out his right arm then, because clearly we don't want it to do that. Alright, Shinon, do your thing. Yeah, this guy insta killed uh, our entire party with one hit. Uh oh. Oh, we're in trouble. Wait, how's he doing his right arm attack? We killed his right arm. A Covenant boss, he splits into two when HP goes to 50%. Oh, yeah, we did beat that guy. It's like the uh, angel demon thing, right? With the wings. Uh oh. Yeah, we fought that guy. We beat that guy too. I think the um, Fume Knight might have been harder for me than that guy was, but the problem with that guy is that you have limited number of items that you can actually, you know, use to get to him. So that was pretty, like, frustrating. Luckily, I, I saved so many uh, humanities or whatever they call it in Dark Souls 2. Uh, that I had like 95 of them or something. Even at the end of the game. I Like I never used them. I think they're called human effigies in Dark Souls 2, right? Send some hearts, ladies and gents. We just gotta keep an eye on his arms. Needed to hear it from someone? Yeah, that was a heck of a heck of a fight for sure. So which one did you think was harder, uh, Oats Curry? Decaf sending those hearts. Thank you, Decaf. We gotta keep an eye out for when his right arm comes back. Gaming Hour sending hearts. Thank you, Gaming Hour. So Gaming Hour, we have leveled up Shinon from being the worst in our entire crew to now being uh, on the level of everybody else. She has really made a lot of progress today. Okay, right arm is back. We gotta be careful here. Get it, get it, get it, get it. We gotta get this thing, gotta get this thing. There it is! Oh, that was close. Okay. Wow. Get him! Let's slow him down. Oh, he stunned us. Gotta keep an eye on those health bars, for sure.
Oh, left arm is back. Left arm is back. Okay. Hold on. We still got this. Left arm. Here we go. Ah, oh, he canceled my attack. And we don't get those attacks back for a while. So if he cancels one of those good ones, it's kind of a bummer. Okay, we got his left arm. We have to keep some attacks open, though, in case he gets his right arm back. Uh-oh, does he have his right arm back? Uh-oh. Garen's saying, is this a hollow area or a floor boss? This is a level 79 floor boss right now. He is pretty darn tough, though. You would think he's a hollow boss. There we go. Got him. Okay. None of our guys have died yet. Brad is... Oh, no, he's, he's doing okay. He can hold on to himself. He can hold out. Come on. We got him to the last health bar. This is intense. I can't believe this guy one-shotted us. Uh oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Whoa, what was that? Whoa, whoa! Oh no. That didn't stun. Does he have anything back? Left arm is back, okay. We gotta go for it. Ah! Wow, I am almost dead. I am very much almost dead. Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. Oh, he's gonna spawn guys. Oh no. Oh, he spawned guys. Okay, hold it, hold it. We might be screwed now. Let's see what we can do. Oh, he has a lot of guys. All right, we gotta be careful. Oh, we killed everything. Wait, what? What's happening? Something just happened and it helped. So I'm not gonna question it. Oh, we're all dead. Instantly, instantly dead. Oh man. All right. Wow, that was intense. Wow. Okay, at least we did better that time. Oh, I was very careful about the uh, the swearing. You should be good. Or in a second, you'll be good. I think it only times you out for like a minute. I can't actually alt tab out of this one. Actually, I think I can while it does this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Wow, that's so intense. That's really intense. Alright, here we go. Oh, baby. Okay. That's correct. Sorry, Paul didn't read the. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it, you know, it happens. It's not like it bans you or anything. It's just like a two-minute timeout or something. Oh, it's a ten-minute time. Uh, we might have to change that timeout uh, time. But yeah, we just try to stay on the the nicer language side. And he kept saying, "Health bars are for the weak." Charges blindly into battle. Well, good luck with that strategy. <laughs> with this guy, he'll kill you in like a single breath if you don't uh, pay attention to his bars. So you gotta take out his right arm first because that's where the big attack comes from. Uh-oh. There it is. Okay, so that one's down. Now you gotta take out his right arm. Oh, so I couldn't... Whoa! He killed Shinon. Wow, he is destroying, absolutely wrecking, wrecking us. We gotta bring somebody else in then, I guess. We can't bring in Shinon. Nanda. Sorry, Shinon. Who is even, like, good? I guess uh, Asuna is our best one. Yes. Wow. This is insane. And we're 100 levels above the recommended level. Alright. Here we go. 
So did I don't know what Asuna's uh, stuff is, but let's see what happens. No more sheen on. Oh man. Oh, it's Curry pressing F. Thank you for your specs. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can get him with, with Asuna here. We can actually give Asuna different costume parts too, which we haven't done. She's the only one I think that can do that. Yeah. So it's like you can quick step to avoid his attacks, but that's only me. Nobody else can do that. So we have to be with somebody who is going to be able to hold their own health bar wise. Damn, that's so insane. This guy is pretty tough. Okay, we stunned his right arm. That's good. There it is. Okay, we gotta get the left arm out of here. And after that, it's all gravy. We just, you know, fight like normal. But the really important thing is to make sure that both of his arms are out of the playing field. All right, here we go, guys. Send some hearts. Oh, baby. Oh, it's Curry. Dcat sending those hearts. Thank you, guys. It definitely seems like Asuna has better uh, ability to stay alive than Shinon did. Uh oh, is his right arm back? Uh oh, his right arm is back. Can I stun it? I did not stun it. Oh crap. Get it, get it, get it. Ah, oh, he still hit us with that. All right, hold on. I can't use it like this. I have to go like this. Health potion, use on Asuna. Go. I gotta tell her to use a health potion. Left arm is back, uh oh. Okay, there we go, there we go. Thank you, Gaming Hour for the hearts. Do you have to get in the cringe? Yeah, baby. We're in cringe mode now. Okay, what, what does he got? Oh, he brought in guys. Oh, crap. How did we, how did he do that? I killed his arm. Maybe we didn't kill it fast enough. All right, we just have to take them out quick. I don't think I have any AOEs, which is a real mistake. Oh man, I'm missing all of this. Oh, this is bad. Asuna, do something! Oh man. I can't hit his right arm. God damn it. Mm. Alright, let's put in an AoE skill. Sword skill, sword skill. There's one, yeah, here it is. High accuracy AOE. And I don't think we currently have, oh, Myriad of Spikes, we do have this. It's right there. Okay, so we need to use that when we're, uh, when we're going in. Okay, here we go. Oscar is saying, the game looks like an actual MMO game. That's what they're going for, because the game, the characters are in the world of an MMO, even though it's a single player game that you play. The game is taking place within an MMO. I guess we should probably do some other stuff before we fight this guy? I don't know. It's pretty crazy. 
Let's go to the hollow area. See what's going on there. Okay, so now we do this and we go to uh what's our hollow stuff? Use the pendant at the bridge to bash a gate. Obtain three chiming ores at the abandoned weapon test site. This is the test site, right? Yeah. So we need to go here and then bridge to Bastia Gate. And these are two places we can zoom to, but we can't zoom to these, right? Or can we? Oh no, we can't, but we can't teleport to them. So we want to go to this one. Here we go. Gara saying you learned an IF. AoEs can save your butt, but also get you into trouble. Yeah. A lot of attacks can... Uh, can hurt you just as much as help you if you don't use him right, I guess. Skeleton spy. Wow. What's he spying on? He probably can't be that good of a spy, unless he's spying among other skeletons. I mean, he's gonna stick out like a sore thumb, probably. Ophelia is level 100 as well. Huh. There we go. Got him. He kept saying, unless he pulls a Terminator and wears big skin when around humans. That's true. You could always try to do that. Ancient Blaster. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That you tend to aggro the... Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, if you're not using it in the right context, it can screw you for sure. Um, if I change the switch, does that bring down my risk meter? Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. So where is her XP? Character info? It doesn't show her XP meter. What if I go to examine? I don't have that. I can do a chat. Oh, she's just telling us what to do. Okay, so we can't like grow our affinity meter with her or anything. And now we want to go to the the sacred sword thing. Shrine of Offerings, Bee Dance Sprawl, Garden Paradise. So we're here. You need to get to the Trapper's Cops. Uh don't really know. I think we want to go up this way, though. This hollow stuff is like a lot more advanced than the main game because I think this was part of the, uh, all the hollow stuff was part of the sequel, which was then like, sort of like burned back into the main game. But yeah, it's definitely like, pretty pretty advanced like the way that the map uh, shows itself and it has like names of the areas and it seems like the areas have more stuff in them in the hollow area got him So we wanted to go this way. So 
So where does this go? Uh, the Bee Dance Sprawl. Wait, what is this? Hold on. Selvendus Forest! Reach the Forest of Spirits. Wait a second. That's on the hollow map. I just saw it. Shrine of the Folkblood, Garden Paradise, Bee Dance Sprawl, Forest Maze, Forest Maze. Where was the Forest of Spirits? Hold on. I just saw it. Shrine of Offerings. Don't know. We haven't discovered that many areas yet either. We're in the wrong area right now. But I think. Hmm. See, it says Love is Light. I wonder if that's the name of the mission for this area. So we want to go to the right. Blue fear. Look at that guy. Say we've been spending most our lives living in a garden paradise. Good stuff. So we want to go now this way. Yeah, this is a way bigger area than the main the main game would have. The reproductive season for monsters that discharge a toxic cloud as part of their mating ritual has arrived. Cleanse the area. Whoop. Now I can't even see the info about it. Uh, uh quest? No. I, I don't know how to see more info about that hollow mission. <laughs> Event list? No. Oh wait, what was that? No. Let's kill him! The love bug. We gotta try and do this before they release a toxic cloud, so let's give it a shot. Got him. So we only need to kill four of these guys. There we go. Whoa, look at that. Oh, decaf, careful about uh, language. Hold on a sec. There we go. So we need to kill 10 of these guys. Um, so this is the only part on the map where they actually appear, so we just have to wait for them. It doesn't take too long, though. So that's good.
Uh oh, I think Philia got poisoned. I don't think she will die from it though. Oh, she had an antidote. Okay, good. I wonder if that pulls from my store of antidote crystals, <laughs> or if she has her own. Hey, decaf getting a cheer. Thank you to decaf. Hold on, we gotta get out of this uh, encounter first. Oh, now we get the info about it. The reproductive season for monsters that discharge a toxic cloud as a part of their mating ritual has arrived. Cleanse the area of these monsters before the gaseous toxin chokes any passers-by. Good stuff. It's choking me, though. Am I gonna die from this? No, the, the bar is gonna go down in time. Good stuff, thank you to Decap for the cheer. Can we get a exclamation mark cheer in the chat? And uh, let's get a new voice and new voice. How about this one? My name is Philia the Filament. I'm a tiny little piece of metal inside of a light bulb, and I also live inside of a video game. I never let anyone into my light bulb because it's mine, and it has glass walls, and it's very delicate. So anyone who touches anything and like knocks on it like this, tink tink, ksh, wah, the whole light bulb is broken. Now I messed up everything. I gotta go get a new a, a contractor to work on this light bulb. It's broken into about 10 million pieces. It's gonna take quite a while. Someone who's really good at puzzles, hopefully, is gonna have to work on this thing. Ah, oh, crap. That's Philia the Filament. Let's get a marker in here for Philia the Filament. Good stuff. Thank you to Decap for the cheer. It's highly appreciated. Anybody who cheers over 10 on the channel, or rather, anyone who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a Voice of Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new Voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse, verse, verse, verse. Thank you, Decap. It is highly appreciated. Um, you have also changed your ranking on the cheer leaderboard. We now have in third place the Nismar with 10 cheer. Thank you to the Nismar. Second place is Decap Bossman now with 350 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Decap Bossman. And first place is Emo Pavid with 500 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Emo Pavid. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. Decap getting a clip as well. Let's check it out. Oh, I finally found the right part of the city for once. Oh wait, no I didn't. I found the wrong part of the city, as usual. Oh no, no, no I found the right part of the city, as not usual. <laughs> Good stuff. I finally found the right part of the city. For Sometimes I find the right things, but when I do, I don't know that I found them. Thank you to Decap for the cheer, and thank you for the clip. 20 meatball clip. Okay, so we are going this way. Good stuff. Uh, we actually want this thing. Do you guys think if you wanted to work on wiki voices, how would you do it? Um, well, the ones that have been added to the wiki have a green check mark emoji next to them. So if it doesn't have that, and if it's in one of the character voices, uh, you know, things, then you just uh, add that character to the wiki and then add a link to that character's wiki page in the in the the comments for the voice which I don't know that you're allowed to do yeah I don't think you're allowed to do either of those things but if you you could just add the character to the wiki then based on what I say in the thing and then that's it Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to edit the the title or description of the um, of the thing. Okay, so if we go this way, we'd probably find what we're looking for, and we don't want to search the entire level of these areas because I don't think the hollow area is. It's like you're just going to be searching around places that you'll eventually have to go later because it's not like you're trying to clear out a single floor. So we want to just kind of like go to where we need to go. This is the Tomb Before Darkness. We got a message from Asuna. 
You okay? I don't like you going off to dangerous places. Yeah, I know, I know. Stupid of me to say. But at least promise me you won't go getting yourself hurt, okay? Let's see. We're now in the Tomb Before Darkness, and we look at the hollow map. Okay, I'm going in the wrong direction then. So I'm gonna go north. And then... We would want to go... To the north west. Do you guys think if I wanted to do that, should I keep a list of which ones I did? Um, yeah, I'd be able to see. I yeah, it would be good if you kept a list um, in a text document or something. I could see which one. It, I usually search it before I try to add it to the wiki, though, so I'd be able to see if it was on there or not. Um as opposed to just adding an appearance. And then otherwise you just match the formatting of, of how I've already done it on all the other ones. And make sure you put a link uh, in the appearances section that you'd put a link to, uh, to the link to the Twitch clip of that character's appearance with the date, you know, matching the formatting that I usually do. Yeah, it's honestly it's probably just easier if you added characters that are completely new or like not already appearing on stream because I already have like a pretty good workflow of like how they get added normally. But if you really uh, if you're really down to to do it then uh, then yeah, any any character you feel like adding. Let's see here. So we're in the Garden Paradise. Oh crap, these are the poison guys. Alright, and we're getting closer. That's good. There's something going on here. So can I recruit these guys if they... What are these guys doing? Damn, there's a lot of enemies over here. Oh crap, I pressed the wrong button. Decaf's going to bed. Good night, Decaf. Have a fantastic night. Here you get an exclamation mark night for Decaf heading out of the stream. Have a great one. Sleep well. And thank you for being a part of today's show. Let's get an exclamation mark night in here. There we go. Now, are these guys thankful? No, they're not. <laughs> so these guys are not like part of our raiding party, or maybe they already are. So we just want to go to the northwest, which means we have to go around here. Like this. Okay, don't harm any nectar mites is what they're saying. I can't believe they would ask us to do these missions and then not let us read how to do the mission. Okay, don't slay any nectar mites, but kill the cheerful flowers. Oh no, not the nectar mite. Wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty devious. Oh, I missed. Crap. 
So we can't do any area of effect attacks. Okay, here we go. Oh, I killed one. Damn it! So how would I even be able to do that? I would probably just have to not... Oh, so I failed that mission permanently then. There's no way to get it back. Alright. I guess that's that. Damn, this is a big map. All right. There's something going on here. That's not what we're looking for, though. What if we went to this westernmost one? I first want to check if this is anything. Oh, we found a thing. The current map is now registered in the administration area. It's now possible to teleport between the two lo locations. Don't teleport. That's good to know. A weapon research site. Okay, so we found, we found it. This is what we're looking for. We're here. So the ore is a drop from the enemies around here, right? Let's start dealing with the enemies to get our hands on the ore. I'm gonna make sure you can enhance that weapon of yours. Okay, so we'll just try and get those enemies. Good stuff, guys. That is going to do it for Sword Art Online today. Thank you everybody for joining. We have faced a boss. We did not beat a boss. We're gonna have to leave that one for the next episode or possibly more future episodes because we just couldn't do it. Couldn't get him on today's show. First time that we actually had to sort of like cool off from fighting a boss and not just keep keep fighting him. Uh, this game's tough. This game has some uh, some fight in it for sure. Uh, let's raid at the end of the show, guys. So make sure to copy down this raid message that you see in the chat. It says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. And if you copy that down, then make sure you paste it right back on into the chat here. We like to uh, assemble our raiding party when we are uh, about to do that raid. And it is very much appreciated, guys, if you do join in the raid by actually posting the raid message into the channel we end up going into for the raid itself. It shows that you're supporting the channel. It shows that you're coming in with the raid itself. It's very much appreciated if you actually post that message in there. So uh, get ready to do that. You have a couple of minutes to copy it down, though. So, uh, you know, you don't have to rush. But if you don't know the channel you're watching, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their own pre-existing knowledge of the game, or suggest what to do in the game whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see more of what happens on the channel, then type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, <coughs> including Sword Art Online. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of seven. We're currently at five, so we're getting there, guys. When we get to seven, we're going to be doing a uh, Voice of Nick Voice live on stream to celebrate. The 26th entry of the Twitch playbook is out right now. It is called uh, Setting Limits for Your Streams. And that one is going to help you to establish what you do and don't want to be able to say on your streams, what you're comfortable saying on stream, important stuff. If you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. 
Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized, and it's been coming out for the last 26 weeks in a row, so there's plenty of it. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching the Twitch playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, if you like the channel, if you want to support the stuff that whoops, the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist mini games, and ad-free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have nobody. On the cheer leaderboards this week, we have in third place, the Nismar with 10 cheer. Thank you to the Nismar. Second place is Decap Bossman with 350 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Decap Bossman. First place is Emo Pavid with 500 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Emo Pavid. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is tweaking, improving, adding things to the Twitch streams you see in front of you, whether it's creating and posting content that goes on the social channels like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, whether it is uh, improving the Discord, whether it's updating the wiki, whether it's writing, recording, posting all the Twitch playbook episodes, all of that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you. For supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games, thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is very highly appreciated. Now let's see if we can join somebody's channel. See what somebody is playing at this relatively late hour, at least uh, in LA time. We got some people playing stuff. Mistwalker is currently doing the Sinking City, uh, which looks really cool. I have not uh, played it. I'm definitely interested in a lot of these Cthulhu related games. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Cthulhu games that have uh, come out a, a long time ago that I've never uh, that I've never uh, uh, played, and I'm really interested to play this and the Catho Call of Cthulhu game that came out a little while ago as well, but I have not played either. Let's see if we can say hi to this person who is currently, yes, playing Cooking Simulator. Let's say hi to Ashleen who is currently playing Cooking Simulator. Let's get a raid command in there. Now, guys, uh, we are going to jump into Ashley's stream. Make sure you uh, show that love by posting that emote set in there. The Meatball Marauders are here to party, and I will see you all next time. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you to Gaming Hour for sending over this copy of Sword Art Online. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching the show. Bye-bye.